In a story that has been recounted numerous times, Meghan Markle's childhood letter to Procter and Gamble has become a foundational aspect of her public image. The narrative is both straightforward and impactful. At just 11 years old, Meghan expressed her concerns about gender representation in advertising, particularly regarding dishwashing products. This letter is said to have prompted a shift in the company's advertisements, marking what Meghan often describes as her initial step towards activism. However, as this tale continues to circulate, questions and doubts have arisen, hinting at the possibility of legal action. Commentator Neil Shaw points out that whispers in the industry suggest Procter and Gamble may be contemplating legal measures against Meghan. What might motivate such a lawsuit? While some view Meghan's narrative as a testament to youthful resolve and the strength of a single voice, critics contend that the story has been embellished or even invented. Despite this skepticism, Meghan remains devoted to sharing her story, framing it as a pivotal moment in her life. The origins of the tale can be traced back to a school project rather than a solo effort by a young girl. Notably, Meghan's retellings often overlook the roles of a classmate and her father, Thomas Markle, who is a television professional with experience in advertising. This omission has led some to question the authenticity of Meghan's account and her choice to consistently present it as her own achievement. For years, Procter & Gamble has stayed silent on the issue, never publicly addressing Meghan's claims, which has only intensified speculation. Why hasn't the company challenged Meghan's version of events? Perhaps they prefer to avoid revisiting a narrative that could damage their reputation, or maybe key figures from that time have retired and wish to stay out of the media spotlight. Legal experts suggest that Meghan's careful recounting of the story may be a strategic move to avoid legal issues. By not explicitly naming Procter & Gamble in her more recent versions, she may have protected herself from defamation claims. As a result, while her narrative might tarnish the company's image, it may not reach the level of legal action. Despite the ongoing controversy, Meghan continues to share her story across various platforms. During her recent royal tour of Colombia, which some have interpreted as a bid to regain public support, she recounted the tale once more. Observers noted Prince Harry's stoic demeanor, as though he had heard the story too many times. Earlier this year, during an interview with Katie Couric, Meghan revisited the narrative again. Some viewers remarked that her co-panelists appeared to mock her, perhaps tired of the repetitive anecdote. Nonetheless, Meghan remains steadfast in her resolve to establish this story as a significant moment in her life. The crucial question now is whether Procter & Gamble will ultimately take action against Meghan. Although no indications have surfaced, rumors suggest that the company is contemplating a lawsuit. If this is true, it could represent a major turning point in Meghan's public narrative. The potential for legal action raises important questions. Will Meghan finally disclose the complete story in a courtroom? Will the truth behind her childhood letter be unveiled? Additionally, the prospect of a lawsuit brings attention to the role of Meghan's father, Thomas Markle, whose contributions to the original letter-writing campaign have largely been overshadowed in her retellings. If the case proceeds to court, it could compel Meghan to acknowledge the influence of those who played a role in shaping her early activism.